The item analysis report is used to analyze student performance for a classroom at the item level for interim and diagnostic assessments. This report can be used to help teachers identify which wrong answer was selected most frequently. It is important for teachers to review their item analysis report to see if there are patterns across classrooms. To locate the item analysis report, start on the home screen. Locate the My Classroom section of your screen and select the desired section. Next, click on Reports. Scroll down and locate the desired assessment and click on it. Click the Item Analysis tab. As a reminder, in SchoolNet, anything that is in blue is a clickable link. To view the test, simply click on Test Details. Notice that the assessment opens in a new tab, and you can scroll down to view the questions. To get back to the Item Analysis report, simply click on the first tab that says Item Analysis. You can organize your performance results by selecting an Order By option. The options include Item Number, Primary Standards Performance, and Percent Correct. If you order by Primary Standards Performance, you will view columns of items grouped by the same primary standard. If you order by percent correct, items are ordered by percent correct from lowest to highest. If you select order by item number, you will view question numbers in, and their corresponding data in ascending order. We will order by item number for demonstration purposes. Add a check mark to highlight low performing students to view your low performing students. This will highlight your students that are not doing well in pink. As a teacher, you are able to view data specific to each item number, including the percentage of students who answered the test item correctly, the primary standard, the point value, and the correct answer. If the correct answer is OE, this indicates that the question is open-ended. If the correct answer is task, this is a multi-part question. If you would like to view the assessment's item number, click on the item number at the top of the column. This will open in the same window. Scroll down to see the item. To get back to the item analysis report, simply click on Back to Item Analysis. Please note that by expanding the row headings, additional data is available. For instance, we are currently looking at one class's data. If we expand the section wide arrow, we will now see school-wide percent correct as well as district-wide percent correct. If we go down a little further, we can expand the primary standard ID to show all secondary alignments. The lower portion of the item analysis report contains individual student data. This section details how each individual student answered each assessment item. Next to each student's name, you can view the total score for the test. You can also view if the student answered the question correctly. A green check mark indicates that they did answer the question correctly. A letter in red indicates that they did not answer the question correctly. And it also shows what they did choose. Remember, if you scroll back up to the top, you can see the correct answer. In this case, it was A, and student 14 chose B. 
multi-part questions use either red or green to indicate which parts were answered correctly. Located in the upper right hand corner of the report is the table key. Hover over the table key to view possible scoring options. Question number seven is an open-ended response. The number of points that the student earned is going to be located in this column. Next to this, you will also find a blue icon. If you click on the icon, it does open up a pop-up window that has the student response, as well as the rubric based performance and any comments that are left for the student. To close this window, simply click on the X. Please note that student data can be sorted by column. By clicking on the sort feature, you will sort based on ascending or descending order. Once again, as a reminder, anything in blue is a clickable link. To view the student's profile, click on their name in blue. This will open up in a new tab. To get back to the item analysis report, click on the first tab that says item analysis. To view a student's response, simply click on the blue piece of paper next to the number of points earned. And again, this will open up a new window. You can view the passage, the question and answer, as well as the student response. Again, click the X to close the window. This report can be exported as a PDF or as an Excel spreadsheet by clicking on the arrow to the right of Export Report. Simply choose the desired option. Remember, your downloaded reports will show in two locations, at the bottom of your screen in the left-hand corner, as well as in your downloads. If you have additional questions about this report, please click on the orange question mark icon in the upper right hand corner. This will show you more detailed information about the report. Thanks for watching.